All right, welcome to the Cashin County Line Tournament. I'm Eamon Abavi here on Cashin Wildcats TV. Thanks so much for joining us here for game number, I'm not even sure, game number five of eight. And uh, we're super excited that you're joining us here on a, what's been a fantastic day of basketball already uh, as we continue to move forward here as the uh, number one ranked Van Oss girls team will be taking on the Oklahoma Christian Academy at three and six, led by Coach Jeff Barnett here tonight in game number five. We're about 48 seconds from the tip. We'll go ahead and get you back on the main camera. And again, thanks so much for joining us here uh, on what's been a great day. And it's, it's an unbelievable tournament as I believe the, the number was close to eight or nine ranked teams across class A, B, all the way up to class 3A and 4A here with, with Clinton as well. And, and again, we're super grateful that you're joining us. Uh, if you caught some of the earlier games, uh, we appreciate that. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, on the girls' side, uh, the Dale Pirates, Lady Pirates beat Fairview 50-18 to 18 to move on. They'll be facing Varnum. Varnum won 71-41 over Dale JV. Uh, Dale JV being a last-second entry, so thanks to the coaches and the staff out there. And on the boys' side earlier today, Dale beat Fairview 60-45, to 45, and they'll be facing Varnum as well as Varnum beat OCS 75-51. So please bear with me. I don't know any of these girls. I don't know what's going on with the teams. I know there's some... Uh, great fans and some great coaches and certainly will do my best to make sure and call this game as best I can. So for the uh, Vanos, for the Vanos Wildcats, we've got Abby Snow, Emily Wilson, Riley Rush, Lizzie Simpson, Emery, Emery Ellis, and like that on the tip, OCS with the ball quickly down, number 32, Brady, uh, Brady Meg Brady, and three-pointer's not good. Rebound comes down to number 22, Ashton Barnett. She's fouled, and just like that, I can't even get us a, a starting lineup. Uh, we've got... Uh, OCS at the line. Barnett with the first one's good. Both meet free throws made quickly down as Vanoss. Definitely uh, OCS in a man defense, quickly with the steal. Nice job with the uh, with the turnover. Looks like man defense there for Varnum. I'm sorry, for Vanoss. A little steal there, a little reach, a little extracurricular activity <laughs> between uh, number 32, uh, Bra Meg Brady. So we've got a hold here. Officials for the night, uh, for the today, for the next two games, uh, Kent Weems, uh, Doug Yeck, as well as our lead official here, Gerald McCollum. We appreciate our officials being out here tonight. OCS in man, Vanoss quickly down in, all whites, white top, white bottom with a red and black trim. OCS, red tops, red bottoms with blue trim. Look down low, inside to number 32. Nice find there to Lizzie Simpson, the senior. She's fouled, looks like, uh, will that be on the floor? Sure will. Again, talking to Coach John Hurt, 60-0, number one ranked in Class A, fantastic group. He said, we wanted to come out here, we needed, we needed to be humbled, we need some competition, we need to be pushed. And certainly this is the tournament to do that. Simpson to the rack and good. Actually, that was number 55, em Emmy Ellis, Emery Ellis. Nice work for the first two points for Venos. Quickly down is OCS. The coach, it was great talking with Coach Hurt. Uh, he was a pretty colorful guy and coaches both boys and the girls. It's like on the, we got to push on the drive. It's going to be a 13 foul on OCS quickly here in the first minute of the quarter. That will go against number 10, Brecken Rogiers. I'm sorry, I apologize, number 10 for Venas. Alexis Belcher. Shots up and good. Nice work there by number 22, Ashton Barnett. Quickly down, she's got four. OCS staying in that man. Little five out action for Venas as they're gonna look for some back cuts and screens here. Pass in deep into number 32. Meg Brady again. Looks like she's going to draw the foul. It'll be out of bounds. Appreciate you guys watching. There it is. <laughs> Meg Brady with a basket underneath. Nice inbounds play. Four all. That was Emily Harris, I apologize. 
Quigley down with the steal. Shot is missed by number 10, who's checked in. Alexis Belcher, deep three. It's up and good. Nice work by Riley Rush, senior. Her first three, her first points of the game. 7-4, Venoss. Quickly down, OCS with a break in the press easily. Got a little double dribble there. Brenna Rowlett, a little Seth Curry action behind the back. Steph Curry, I should say. I'm going to get these names down, guys. I apologize. Coming straight from work and coming over here. We'll get these names down. We'll get you going. But appreciate you joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. Cash and County Line Tournament. It's been a great day. 7-4, Venoss up four on OCS. D3 again is good. Two for two. For Riley Rush, the senior. All seniors for Venoss. They've been, they've been playing together, starting together as freshmen. Back to back to back. Runs at state. Coach Hurt's got something running here. And they're 16-0 on the season. Out of bounds. Got a timeout. Thankfully, we'll have a timeout. I get my paperwork straightened out. But appreciate you guys joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. I'm Neiman Abavi. It's a great day of basketball. Hang tight with us. We'll be right back here in a sec. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment. We do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. And we're back to action here at CWTV. Quickly on the uh, press, it actually, Venoss is able to get the turnover. Riley Rush passes up the three-pointer. She's two for two. Dry penetration there by double zero. No foul call there on Abby Snow. Nonetheless, uh, Venoss with the rebound. Emriel swing pass in back into Abby Snow. Staying aggressive, the basket, another rebound. Deep three, this time is up. A little long there. Going high for the rebound is Emriel. It's up, short, fight underneath. Another offensive rebound for Venoss. Looks like we've got a, we're gonna have a jump ball, we are. Great work there by Venoss. On the offensive side, extra, extra opportunities, at least four extra opportunities there. Looks like the the possession error will go to Venoss as uh, we have out of bounds. Jump down into number 32, Lizzie Simpson falls in the hands of OCS and quickly down are the Saints, three-pointers up, it's missed. Out of bounds, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go silent here for a sec. You guys hang tight, keep watching, be right back here in a sec. All right, so I got to bounce. Thanks so much for hanging tight. Had to get a few administrative stuff taken care of. Again, thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. I'm Neiman Abavi. It's 
It's been a great day here at the Cashton County Line Tournament. 11-4, Venoss up, the Wolves up, 16-0, number one in Class A, over the three and six OCS Saints, led by Coach Jeff Barnett. Full court press from Venoss all night. They've got great length, looks like they've got some great guard play here. Certainly extending the pressure. OCS has been able to break it a few times because they'll go man up here. Hannah Volskel quickly down the, uh, down the sideline to Rowlett. Rowlett loses the ball, comes back out with her own miss there. Around the Meg Brady will back it back out. The nice thing in that man defense, drive by Brady, throws up, not good. Rebound is uh, back to OCS. Loose ball, looks like we have another jump ball. It's been kind of the story this far. A little sloppy, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call it perfect basketball, and I think both coaches would agree. Checking in for Venas is number 11. And uh, Coach Hurt said, I got a lot to come in and out, so uh, we'll make sure and try to get it right for you. Quickly down are the Wolves in all white. Swing pass, skip pass down the corner, down to uh, Riley Rush. He's hit two on the night. This one goes to uh, Emery Ellis. She's got four. Nice little mid-range jump shot there. OCS trying to break the press down the sideline, and we'll have a sideline out of bounds. Could have gone any way. Could have been a block. But the turnover to the Saints will give Venoss another chance. They're up 13-4. Rush passes back into. Ellis, Ellis around to number 22. Looks like we'll have a walk call. Emily Wilson with the walk. Turnover, Venas. Wolf staying in that full court press. OCS going to the left side this time into number 34, Rowlett. She'll get it across, back across, and they were able to break the press at that time. 258 here in the first quarter. Meg Brady with the drive. It goes up. Looks like the foul will be on the floor. I'm sorry, that was Brianna Rowlett. No, it was Meg Brady, apologize. Brady Bunch. Maddie Faust checking in, a sophomore for the Wolves. Coach Hurt working his bench here early. A quick five second call here, we'll be close. <laughs> nice idea by Meg Brady, trying to throw it off the uh, backside of number zero, Abby Snow. I like the play, but it was a little too late. Quickly down after the turnover, is the Wolves, 22, Emily Wilson, long on the three, great rebound there by Abby Snow, giving up at about a foot, she's going up a little bit higher to get that one, out hustled. Nice little three girl game there, nice job. And that's number two, Maddie, Maddie Faust with her first points. Nice work into the short corner, high post, into the jump down the block, as the uh, Wolves are up 15-4. OCS Saints quickly down, shot by Brianna Rowlett, it's a little high, rebound comes back to the Saints. Loose ball, Meg Brady's got that one, and the uh, Saints will reset. Man defense for Munas, nice help off the foot there of the Wolf, let's see who will call it off of. And they'll say off OCS, and that will be Venas ball here. Saints coming off of a win against OCA, arch rival, Oklahoma Christian Academy there in Edmond, Edmond versus Edmond School. 2A number 14, they, they able to win 63 to 60. It's a good game there for the uh, Saints. Nice give and go, nice work there by the Wolves. Emily Emery Harris with her sixth point. Tip out by the Venas uh, Wolves. Looks like that was off of number 22, Emily Wilson. OCS retains possession. And I've really enjoyed watching the, the Wolves come down in their half court set. You know, they're not necessarily getting points off of the, uh, off of the press, but coming back down, working the high, High post, low block. Creating a shift in defense and finding the open girl. Another foul there for Venas. That was on number 22, Emily Wilson, her first. Foul count for all. Minute 47 here in the first quarter. And we've got our Fifth foul for Venas here, literally in the in the last 20 seconds. So uh, both teams will probably be cruising into the bonus here, easily into the second quarter. Venas doing a great job on the uh, inbounds defense, or out of bounds defense, I should say. 
Meg Brady throwing it off. This time is able to get it off number 14, Maddie Dansby, who's checked in, the junior. Rowlett with a drive. Pretty nice drive there, left hand. Doesn't fall. Venos with a rebound, and we've got a walk there on number 10, Alexis Belcher. It'll be o OCS ball. Minute 36. Thanks, for no thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. Big shout out to my man Tommy Branson on the camera. Appreciate him joining. Do a great job out here in, uh, with our cash and students helping out. Great defense there by zero, uh, by 30, Riley Rush. She's got a couple threes on the night or on the day so far. Nice left hand spin move. Out to number that number 10, it sure was. Brecken Rogers or Rogers. Love that name. Ball will get out of bounds, Saints ball. Another substitution, a couple more substitutions. Coach Hurt likes to work the bench there. Checking in back in is Maddie Faust, it looks like. OCS looking for that back screen. Able to get it in this time to number 10, Bre uh, Brecken Rogier. And they'll start back up. Nice little left hand behind the back move. Doesn't fall for number 22. Ashton Barnett, but uh, OCS with another offensive rebound. Rowlett, very active, deep three by Barnett, falls out of bounds, it'll be Vanoss Ball with 57 seconds. <laughs> Riley Reed checking in for the Wolves. And I think Coach Hurd has basically used at least 10 girls in this game thus far in the first quarter. 14, Maddie Dansby with the ball, she'll work right side, OCS Nice little block there by number 22, Barnett. Steal back in, nice work there out of saving the ball from going out of bounds. Deep two, deep three by Wilson is good. She's got five, 20 to four. The Wolves up, OCS quickly down the right side. Number 25, Hannah Boskel, that's good. Coast to coast. Nice work there by the OCS Saints. 25 seconds, T game speeding up, another three. It's up and it's good. Alexis Belcher with her first point. Fourth made three here in the first quarter alone for the Venas Wolves. Quickly back down as Barnett counted and won. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice little right hand, right hand dribble penetration there by Ashton Barnett. The freshman, 5'8 freshman. I like seeing that. Skyler Lawrence will check in the junior. We'll give uh, number 32, Meg Brady, a break. Yeah, no, yeah there it was. The official there gave uh, Gerald, I believe that's Gerald McCollum, gave, gave the, uh, <laughs> the Saint a chance. But uh, the foul will go against number 34, Brianna Rowlett. Had to eventually call that one in terms of over the back. OCS with a press, is able to get the steal, but it goes out of bounds. Venos will hang on to it, 10.4 seconds. Uh, offering around five. Seven seconds, quickly down. Belcher is up, no good. OCS with the rebound, it'll be the end of the first quarter as your Venos Wolves are up 15, 23 to eight over the OCS Saints. Thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV, powered by Squirtle. Go to a quick timeout, be right back here in a sec. 500 drink combinations and half price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. If the current bug of the month has you down, let Fairview Pharmacy get you back in the game. Let Doctor of Pharmacy Laura Felder and her staff be your pharmacy of choice. Enjoy the convenience of drive through service and free delivery in Fairview. You'll also find durable medical equipment, greeting cards, and candy. Fairview Pharmacy at 210 East State Road in Fairview. Proud to support all Yellow Jacket athletes. Finally, it's time to get that driver's license, but which option to choose? The DMV with the long lines, the not-so-pleasant desk. Well, 
right, welcome back to Cashin, Oklahoma here, the Cashin County Line Tournament, Game 5. The Nos Wolves versus the Oklahoma Christian School Saints. A little Class A versus Class 3A. It's your Venos Wolves, number one ranked in Class A, 16-0, up 23-8 on the Saints. Nice drive there by number 22, freshman Barnett's heating up. Woo, she's got eight. He pass, and uh, OCS able to get the turnover. And that's been kind of the story for the first half. It's been three-pointers for Venos, turnovers for both teams, and uh, a little bit of freshman Ashton Barnett for the Saints. Full court press for the Wolves. They've been running this man press the entire game. Meg Brady finds number 25, Hannah Voskul. She'll go down the right side. Venas staying in that man defense as well on the half court. Nice spin move on the block. Nice work, a little tip out there by number 10. Breck and Rogier, but uh, it falls in the hands of a, of a Wolf, and it shot is up. Rebound back out to Venas, another offensive rebound. Emery Ellis with a right-hand drive, and it's good. Nice work there by the senior. She's got eight, and timeout. Coach Barnett was like, hey, we can't do that. So thanks so much. It's 25-10. We'll go to a quick timeout. Be back here in a sec. Clerk. That's the way it has to be. And taking off work and still not getting in. This office is now closed. Or go to Cowboy Driving Academy. With a relaxed atmosphere, they make it convenient for you, whether it's after hours, on holidays, or even inclement weather. For details, go to CowboyDriving.com. Cowboy Driving Academy. They keep you moving. Well, isn't that nice? Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works. All right, welcome back to Cashin, Oklahoma. I'm Neiman Abavi here on Cashin Wildcats TV. Uh, big shout out to my man Chris Gibson, who had the first couple, had a, the last couple of games. Uh, we were not able to do any play-by-play -play for the Dale games earlier this morning. The Dale boys and girls, as they both were victorious. Full court press for the Wolves on the Saints. Good job there by number 22, Ashton Barnett, the freshman. A little right-hand drive, a little kick, nice work. So we're gonna jump ball. Yeah, we sure good call. Excellent call there by Kent Weems. See official there. Possession error will flip. Wolves have it this time. Quickly down is Abby Snow. Again, five senior starters for the Wolves. 16 and 0. Deep three. Rush is a little off. She started off two for two from three. She missed the last couple. Nice dump and down. Right idea there. For number 22, Emily Wilson looking for the diving rush. She's been able to get her hands on it. Would have been a nice play. Deep pass. Little quarterback action there. All the way down to number 25, Hannah Voskull. She gets blocked by, by Ellis. Quickly back down are the Wolves. Dumped down it back into Ellis. Untouched. That's about as easy as it gets right there. <laughs> Coach Barnett's going to have him take another one. You know, I, I, I think in this situation, you want to at least body up a little bit. I know but both teams have are pretty, you know, they've got six and five fouls apiece, right? You don't necessarily want to be handing out any more fouls, but you can't let Ellis go in untouched like that, and I'm sure that's what Coach Barnett is, is probably talking about. At minimum, got to find her. Um, Ellis has got, she's the leading scorer for the, uh, for the Wolves thus far in the first half with 10 points, and you got to be able to find her uh, as she's, I think she's had the last six for them. All right, it's 27-10, Venos up 17. OCS had a little bit of a slower start offensively, but has picked it up as of late, led by uh, Ashton Barnett, the freshman. Speaking of Barnett, she's got the ball, breaking the press by herself. She'll go, nice little left-hand crossover all the way in. It's good, sizzle, Ashton Barnett. One girl wrecking crew, all the way back down to Ellis. They gotta find her, she misses the bunny that time. So you go out of bounds, and it'll go to OCS. Didn't expect uh, Ellis to miss that one. She's been pretty automatic down on the block. That was a nice play there for the Wolves, just didn't finish. 
Looks like uh, Hannah Voskul, a little push off there. She'll get called for the player control. That's going to be the 17th foul on OCS, her second. No bonus uh, on the seventh foul on a player control, so it'll just be Venus Ball. Rush taking a seat. Coming for her in for her is number 25, it looks like. I'll get her name here in a second. OCS, a little matchup 3 2 here. Venas, patient. J jump shot by Emily Wilson is good. She's got two made threes and another bucket. She's got eight. Just like that, we've got uh, Wilson on the steal. We'll go to bounce. Nice work. You know, Lizzie's, uh, it's like a Meg Brady's a little tired. She's trying to look, get some help. Deep pass comes in the hands of uh, Brady, it looks like. I apologize, Voskul. Nice little left hand scoop there by number 10. Junior Brecken Rogier, her first points of the game 30 to 14. He's long. Rebound comes down to Meg Brady. And OCS. Put a little run here. Quickly down all the way coast to coast. Hannah Voskul. She met the, the hand of Emery Ellis. Nice work there by Emery with the block. And, and, and she's tall. She's definitely well over six feet. Um, uh, certainly had a chance to kind of walk the floor. She's got some good length and good feet. And no doubt since she's got ten points. Deep three. A little long there, rebound to the Wolves. They'll quickly push it across. Number 22, Emily Wilson, left side, trying to find a three-pointer, but it does find eventually into Abby Snow's hands. A little skip pass is not there, intended for Lizzie Simpson. That'll go out of bounds. Another turnover for the Wolves. 5.08. Second quarter action. And we have an out-of-bounds play. Right idea. Looking for Meg Brady. I guess got to give credit to somebody here, so give credit to the Venas uh, Wolves on their uh, inbounds or their out-of-bounds defensive plays and or maybe uh, Coach Barnett may need to draw something else up uh, to kind of break this man defense on the out-of-bounds for OCS. They've had difficulty all day trying to get it inbounds. Nice work there by Ellis. She had her girl sealed off. The pass was a little the outside. Nice work there by Meg Brady. Little spin move scoop. Doesn't fall. Rebound to Venas and quickly down the middle of the court. Dump down to Simpson. It's good. Nice find. Nice basket. That's her third. 32 14. Quickly OCS. Rogers left hand. No foul call. But great job. Nice work there by Ellis on the pressure. So nice work there by number 32, Lizzie Simpson. They found her on the block last time. They went to her again. Not able to make the basket. It's going to get the chance for two points. Makes both of them. Nice work there by the senior. She's got five. Mass substitution for Coach Hurt. Imploring everyone to get in and out. He's I think he's literally played all 12. He's played 12 girls, I think, thus far in the first half. Love it. A little drop there by Coach uh, Barnett. Little two-girl out-of-bounds pass out of the made basket, which you can do, but uh, not able to get it past half court. Kick out to number 14, maybe Maddie Dansby. Looks like we had a push off here on the rebound against number 10, Alexis Belcher. And a foul will be against OCS. That's going to be their ninth team foul. Second on number 34, Brenna Rowlett. And that'll send number that'll send number 10, Alexis Belcher to the line. She's got three. Good. 
Melcher converts on both. She's got five. Full court press again. 36-14. Wolves up 21-22. Not giving up on that press at all. 4.03 left here in the second quarter. Still first quarter action. Lots of scoring. Nice little drive there by the freshman. Barnett, she'll kick it back out. Floaters up and it's good. Nice little find there by Meg Brady. Her first buckets of the game. Quickly back down is Belcher. Righty puts it up. And the Wolves are able to answer. Barnett, the freshman, has been doing it all for OCS. <laughs> Looks like we'll get a foul. And that'll be the 17th foul on the Wolves. And that'll send Barnett, the freshman, to the line. And that'll be the first on number 14, Maddie Dansby. And for the life of me, I cannot find the Venas rosters. So if I don't have you written down, I'm sorry. That's it, mom and dad. I'll find it here eventually. First one is good there for Barnett. I want to say she's three for three from the line. Ah, I jinxed her. My bad. My bad. Venas with a rebound. 38-17. 3.30 left here in the second quarter. It's been the Wolves inside and out. And there's a little steal there. Nice job cutting the passes. Volskull, she'll go up and she'll get the foul. No bucket. But great job reading that uh, pass around the horn. So we get that right hand on there. A little speed. Love the athleticism. Good effort there by number 10. Alexis Belcher coming down. No easy baskets. That's going to be her third foul. First one is good. Hannah's got a, two, a field goal, and that's her first made free throw. A little substitution there. i got to believe, yeah, is that number? That is uh, Belcher. She's going to take a seat. Second one is up and good. She's got four. 38-19. 19 point lead here for the Wolves. Quickly down the right side. Rush with the three. Bang. It's good. She's got nine. I think she's three for five from three, doing great work. Nice work there on the defense there. Nice job by number 11 for Venas. I think uh, that's going to be a turnover. So uh, Rush basically taking Barnett to the sideline and quickly reading that uh, Rush was going to come back to the middle was the Venas defender. Uh, I guess we have out of bounds. I didn't see her step out. I think maybe she stepped out on the other one. <laughs> Nonetheless, Venas has the ball. Oh, goodness. So it comes off the hands of Rush, the senior. Good play there by Barnett, putting a little bit of pressure. 3.05 left. Dumped down into Volsko down the sideline, quickly across the middle. Nice job, nice work in passing and breaking that press. Was Brenna Rowlett, she finds number 12. Emily or Ormi, Orme, I don't know if it's French. We have a, we have a Rogier, so it's possible, but uh, nice job by the senior. She misses the first. Nine fouls for Venas, eight for OCS if you're keeping track at home. Second one is up and it's no good. Wolves with a rebound, nice work. There by number 32, Lizzie Simpson. Looks like uh, we'll have another turnover. OCS at half court. Look it back, I'll roll down to uh, Rowlett. Rowlett will go baseline right side, nice work. Slowing it up, she didn't force anything there. Back into Bull School. A little errant pass there. Almost a steal there by Meg Brady. All the way down is number 22, yeah. Emily Wilson. And she'll draw the foul. That one's going to go against number 34, Brenna Rowlett. That is her third. I'm not sure what Coach uh, Barnett's going to do. If he's going to, I guess he's going to leave her out there. He's got to move those feet. It was good. Nice job there by number 22, the senior. And converts the and one, 44-19. Good 
pressure there by Riley Rush, the senior. Coach Hurt not going away from that press. 233, even with nine fouls, team fouls. He's like, let's let it roll. I'm going to empty the bench. Looks like a pass across comes off of the hands of number three, Skylar Lawrence, junior guard. And it'll be Venas Ball. Wolves applying pressure left and right. Heck yeah, shoot that three. Emily Wilson, it's up. In and out. Rebound to the Wolves. Able to go in by number 11. Quickly down right side is Vol School. She'll kick it back out to Barnett. Back to Vol School. No reach call there. No push off call there. <laughs> D3 by Barnett. Why not? It's off the back iron. Fight for the loose ball. Goes to OCS. Nice hustle. Three pointers up. Meg Brady a little hard on that one. She knows it. Quickly down is Vanoss. Easy, too easy. Nice ball work, nice passing. Lizzie Simpson with another basket. And that's another transition basket for the, for the Wolves. They haven't done it off the press. They've done it off fast break and pushing off Miss Remont. But deep three is good for Meg Brady. She's got five. 46-22. Thought Rush was going to pull up on the three there herself. Right hand drive, little mid range there for number 22, and it's good. Emily Wilson. Inside, outside for her. Minute 21, second quarter. Ooh, a lot of bumping right there. Little curl there by number 25. Volsko, she'll keep it, give it out to Barnett. It's loose ball. Uh oh. Little shot to the face. It's okay, a little in incidental. A nice job there by Lizzie, uh, by Emily Wilson, all the way down left side. She'll get fouled. And you see that, that's something you, you typically see from all the way up is, uh, and that'll be actually, that'll be Barnett's third foul. Uh, you'll see that, you know, girl will, will get fouled. There won't be a call. And uh, she'll go down and, or he will go down, either pronoun will go down and, and immediately foul because they're upset. And that's kind of what happened there. But uh, third foul on Barnett thus far w has been, um, I guess, a good, a good decision. Didn't give up the easy two. And uh, Emily Wilson misses the first. Mass substitution for Coach Hurt. Second one is up and good. Wilson with 14, I believe, unofficially. Full court press again for the Wolves on OCS. Uh-oh, little slip there on the, uh, looks like the eye on Cash and got, got number 32 on that one, Lizzie Simpson. Another turnover. So with 59 seconds, Venos big, 49-22, up 27 points. It's a lot of points. As uh, lead official Gerald McCollum checks out the uh, wet potential wet spot over there, over on the Cashin emblem. Beautiful court. I'm biased, but definitely love this court and gym. It's an old gym. It's got character. Definitely kept up to speed. So Vinas quickly down, 53 seconds. Dump down into number two. Maddie Faust. Skip pass across. Nice ball movement there for, by the Wolves. Staying patient. Three two for OCS. Wolves staying extremely patient, doing a great job not forcing things. Get past, looking for that inside outside. Nice baseline drive by Ellis. Not there. She gets her own rebound. She'll get the foul. Great job. I tell you what, uh, you have to really appreciate uh, 55 senior Emery Ellis. She's got she's got 10 on the day, um, and uh, she's lengthy, but she's definitely athletic. She's got great feet. I love that drive down the baseline. Got a good form there and is able to hit the first free throw. Little substitution again, ongoing for Coach Hurt. I think every whistle Coach Hurt is substituted. My first time to see Venos this year. Second one is up. That's good. She's got 12. 51-22, 24 seconds. Full court press for the Wolves. I'm not sure if we've seen a half court defense from the Wolves yet. Quickly down. Volskull's up, misses it. Ellis quickly with the... Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So nice job there by Ellis going up, quickly pushing with 12 seconds. But uh, she can get her arm up. She just can't extend it out, and that's exactly what happened. That's going to be her first. Player control doesn't allow for free throw shots. Quickly down, number 32, Meg Brady. She'll shoot the three. It's a little long. Great hustle there by Ashton Barnett. Was that Ashton? No, it was not Ashton. I think that may have been number 12. 
Emily Orme. And last second shot there at half is no good. And that's the uh, end of the second quarter where your Venas Wolves ranked number one in Class A, 16-0, and or up big, up 29 on the OCS Saints, 51-22. I'm Neiman Bobby. Thank you so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV as part of the Cash and County Line Tournament broadcast. Uh, we had uh, Chris Gibson earlier today. You've got me now over the next couple games, and you'll have me uh, on Homer Television as the Cash and Wildcats will be taking on uh, let me get the bracket. It looks like I, I'm pretty sure it's Perry for both the girls' and boys' side in the light, late, late game. So, uh, again, we'll go to a quick timeout as your uh, Venas Wolves are up 51-22 over the OCS Saints. It's with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Shannon and Vernon Hain and everyone at Fairview Funeral Home are proud of the success of the Yellow Jackets. At Fairview Funeral Home, our mission is to provide the highest quality professional care for those we serve in a dignified and caring manner. We go beyond your expectations to provide services and products that meet your needs and desires. We strive to make your loved one's final celebration of life the way you want it. The family that cares at Fairview Funeral Home, 221 North Main in Fairview. Big Finish 2020 is on at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Hi, it's Jeff Johnson. Find a deal in December on remaining 2020 Ram 1500s at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. Like our new Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Caps. Thinking of a new truck? Then you owe yourself to experience the best and unequaled ride and control that Ram has to offer during the Big Finish event. Deals in December? See them at Johnson's of Kingfisher Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. A dealership you'll find only in a place like Kingfisher. Same name. Same family. Since, since 1927. 1927. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Farmers and Merchants National Bank is Fairview's hometown bank, serving you. Committed to providing the Fairview area with the latest in banking services and convenience. Farmers and Merchants is a locally owned and operated bank, eager to serve your personal and professional banking needs. With a pledge to exceed the expectations of their customers, the staff is confident in their ability to provide you with an exceptional banking experience. Farmers and Merchants National Bank in Fairview. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Floor Tech proudly serves schools across the state of Oklahoma with their gym floor and janitorial supply needs. Since 1962, the Eitzen Agency has delivered quality insurance solutions to you, your family, and your business. You'll find homeowners, auto, business, and life insurance, and they specialize in church insurance. But there's something else. They haven't forgotten their small town roots for friendliness and courtesy, and they are committed to helping you find a policy that fits your needs. At the Eitzen Agency, they'll work with you to ensure that you and those you care about the most are protected. Call 580-227-2553 for the Eitzen Agency, 102 South Main in Fairview. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. Also certified in prenatal and pediatric treatments, Dr. Nightingale sees all types of patients, ranging from 2 weeks old to 97 years old. We offer conservative treatments to get you back in the game, whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete. So give us a call at 405-471-556 for a free consultation today.
Lance Button and the staff at Circle B Repairs and Sales in Fairview are proud to back the Jackets in tonight's game. They are an authorized Jasper engine and transmission installer. Experience the value of Jasper with the three-year, 100,000-mile nationwide parts and labor warranty to provide peace of mind. For gas or diesel, auto and truck repairs, front-end alignments, and quality Cooper tires, it's Circle B Repairs and Sales at 904 North Main in Fairview. Cash and Grain and Feed is your headquarters for quality Shawnee milling products and everything to keep you going on the farm. Find a full line of Shawnee Mills animal feeds for cattle, horses, pigs, poultry, and much more. You'll also find fertilizer, gas, and diesel fuel. They also fix flats and feature tires for cars and trucks. And they carry a selection of plumbing and electrical hardware. Your first stop, Cash and Grain and Feed, 216 South Main in Cashin. To win in sports, you must focus on your strategy as the game changes. The same is true of tax planning. Melissa K. Maynard, CPA, is a proud sponsor of Fairview Yellow Jackets Athletics. Let her help you create a winning plan this tax season. Call 580-227-4100 or stop by 115 East Broadway in Fairview today. She supports all area high school athletics, especially the Fairview Yellow Jackets. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business and remember call Amy, Carissa or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our five locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. When the sewer gets backed up, call Max. Can't stand the heat or your heater not standing up to old man winter? Call Max. Mike and Travis McMurphy at Max Plumbing, Heating, and Air Incorporated in Fairview are on the job. Licensed and experienced with the quality of Kohler plumbing fixtures, Delta faucets, York, Carrier, and Armstrong heating and air equipment. There's only one place to call when you and your family want to be just right. Max Plumbing, Heat, and Air. 1220 South Main in Fairview. Dana Richter at Farmers Insurance is proud to service Fairview and the surrounding counties. Nobody offers more discounts than farmers. Stop in and learn more. Let Dana write all of your insurance needs, commercial, auto, home, and life. Call Dana Richter at 227-3100 or stop by her office at 917 North Main. Farmers Insurance agent Dana Richter, proud to support Fairview's athletes. As a local, member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. All right, welcome back to Cash in Oklahoma. I'm Neiman Bobby here on Cash and Wildcats TV, and it is Cash and County Line Tournament time. 
And we are in game number five. It's been a great day, and thus far it's been a high-scoring affair here in the uh, game number five as the Venas Wolves, number one in Class A, are up big, 51-22 over the OCS Saints. Leading scores for the uh, Venas Wolves, uh, number, uh, looks like uh, Emily Wilson with 14, Emily Emery Ellis with 12. And speaking of Ellis, she's got the ball. She's got a great baseline drive inside game. Nice pass in, nice work there. The Wolves working the right side. That was rush into number 32, Lizzie Simpson. She had seven in the first half, make it nine total now. Little skip pass there. High arching three by number 32, Meg Brady. One little long, quickly down as the Wolves. That goes off the hands off of Brady, and that'll stay down there. It was all Venoss inside and outside. They uh, were running full court press, shuttling in 20 kids at a time. Coach Hurt doing a great job. Again, 16 to 0. Uh, and uh, definitely have applied the pressure left and right. Inbounds play comes back in, inside, outside. Rush, who has three made threes in the first half. She had the hot hand behind the arc. She work off that screen from Alice, it'll give and go. Nice work there by the Wolves. We'll get the foul, won't get the bucket. Nice little two-girl game there off the edge. Uh, I see off the angle. My partner Chris Gibson get, sent me a text, and I forgot this after talking with Coach Hurt earlier, but uh, you know, Emery Ellis is a senior and committed to the University of Arkansas, and they're lucky to have her. She's definitely a good athlete and got good hands, plays solid D, runs the court. Makes her free throws. So good work from her again. She had 12 in the first half. Add two more now, she's got 14. Saints quickly back down from Barnett. Barnett into Val School, passes deflected, quickly down as <laughs> Ellis, coast to coast. Sister, slow down, that was nice. Little right hand, little windmill action there. Saints coming back down, no press, deep three by, by number 32 as Meg Brady's off. She's been close, she'll get one. Snow with the rebound, quickly back down to number 22. Wilson, it's off, rebound into Rush. She misses that. And the Saints quickly back down. Right side is Brady. Lone, uh, her and Orm, Orm the seniors there. And actually, nice drive there by Rowlett. Rowlett had a couple chances at a bucket in the first half. He wasn't able to get any to fall, but was able to get the foul there. That's a second on Ellis. Great right hand there by the sophomore. First one is up and it's good. Nice, she's got her first points there. Coach Barnett starting a senior. Two seniors, two sophomores and a freshman, so definitely a young team. Second one is up and good. Good form there by the sophomore. Quickly down is the Wolves. Looks like we've got an offensive foul, and that's two quick fouls on Ellis. We were singing her praises. She was doing great on the offensive end. She'll pick up now foul number three. That's second team foul for Venas here in the first, or in the, in the third quarter, I should apologize, second half, 621. Right side is Voskel. She tried to work it in. Good pressure there by Snow. Deep three by Barnett. Bang! Nice job there by the freshman. She had 11 in the first half. That's points number four, uh, 12, 13, and 14. That's her first made three. Goodness. Looks like Voskel had a chance to get the <laughs> rebound. She let it go. <laughs> and it fell in the hands of number 22, Emily Wilson, the senior. She'll get the and one opportunity. She's got 16 now in the game. That'll be timeout to Coach Hurt. So with that, we'll go to a quick timeout. Thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV, Cash and County Line Tournament. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation. Physical Therapy Central is proud to be keeping you in the game of life. Now with a convenient location in Kingfisher, get back to the game of life faster with PT Central.
annual checkups, primary care provider, urgent health needs? Come see us at Cashin Community Clinic. With 10 years of experience in rural emergency and primary care, Cameron Hogan is ready to serve you. The Hogan family calls Cashin home and loves contributing through their local community clinic. We accept all insurances and offer very affordable cash pay options as well. So when the need arises from pediatrics to grandparents, call us at 405 433 5008 or come see Cameron Hogan PAC at the Cashin Community Clinic on Main Street. Go Wildcats! Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website. to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes.
With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-priced tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. If the current bug of the month has you down, let Fairview Pharmacy get you back in the game. Let Doctor of Pharmacy Laura Felder and her staff be your pharmacy of choice. Nice Enjoy the convenience right. of drive through service and free yeah. delivery in Fairview. You'll also find Let's durable medical equipment, wolves. greeting cards, and candy. Fairview Pharmacy like at 210 East State Road in Fairview. Two, three, Proud I to apologize. support all Yellow Jacket Saints. athletes. Rebound comes inside. Loose ball. I'm not sure Finally, on it's time to get that driver's license. But which option to choose? The DMV with the long lines, the not-so-pleasant desk clerk. That's the way it has to be. And taking off work and still not getting in. This office is now closed. Or go to Cowboy Driving Academy. With a relaxed atmosphere, they make it convenient for you whether it's after hours, on holidays, or even inclement weather. For details, go to CowboyDriving.com. Cowboy Driving Academy. They keep you moving. Well, isn't that nice? Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Shannon and Vernon Hain and everyone at Fairview Funeral Home are proud of the success of the Yellow Jackets. At Fairview Funeral Home, our mission is to provide the highest quality professional care for those we serve in a dignified and caring manner. We go beyond your expectations to provide services and products that meet your needs and desires. We strive to make your loved one's final celebration of life the way you want it. The family that cares at Fairview Funeral Home. 221 North Main in Fairview. Big Finish 2020 is on at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Hi, it's Jeff Johnson. Find a deal in December on remaining 2020 Ram 1500s at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. Like our new Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Caps. Thinking of a new truck? Then you owe yourself to experience the best and unequaled ride and control that Ram has to offer during the Big Finish event. Deals in December? See them at Johnson's of Kingfisher Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. A dealership you'll find only in a place like Kingfisher. Same name. Same family since 1927. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong in setting the standard since 1963. Farmers and Merchants National Bank is Fairview's hometown bank, serving you. Committed to providing the Fairview area with the latest in banking services and convenience. Farmers and Merchants is a locally owned and operated bank, eager to serve your personal and professional banking needs. With a pledge to exceed the expectations of their customers, the staff is confident in their ability to provide you with an exceptional banking experience. Farmers and all sorts of audio visual issues. Apologize out there to the uh, Venos and to the OCS fans. One man crew is basically with me as a zero man crew. So that's where my partner Chris Gibson usually helps me out. We'll give that last bucket to somebody on Venas. We'll get 
quickly down. Long three, it's good, or long two, I should say, is good by Browlett. She's got seven. 83-35, looking for Ellis there on the pass. Quickly stolen there by number 25. All school quickly to Bradley. Bradley, right hand, floats it up. A little short there, she's had a tough day. Ellis reaching over, nice pass. Finds the cutting, number 22, Emily Wilson, but she misses the bunny. Five seconds left here in the third quarter. Half court shot is no good. And that'll be the end of the third quarter as your Venos Wolves are up 83-35. Big here. First round of Cashin Wildcat, or I'm sorry, Cashin County Line Tournament. I'm Nima Bobby. We'll be right back here in a sec. Merchants National Bank in Fairview. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. FloorTech proudly serves schools across the state of Oklahoma with their gym floor and janitorial supply needs. Since 1962, the Eitzen Agency has delivered quality insurance solutions to you, your family, and your business. You'll find homeowners, auto, business, and life insurance, and they specialize in church insurance. But there's something else. They haven't forgotten their small town roots for friendliness and courtesy, and they are committed to helping you find a policy that fits your needs. At the Eitzen Agency, they'll work with you to ensure that you and those you care about the most are protected. Call 580-227-2553 for the Eitzen Agency, 102 South Main in Fairview. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. All right, welcome back to Cashin, Oklahoma. Fourth quarter action here of Venos versus OCS. 83-35, it's been all red, it's been all wolves. Uh, they've done it inside, outside. They've been phenomenal. Full court press, presser D. Been able to get off turnovers, half court. I've done it all. Credit to OCS, staying and hanging tough, not giving up. Right hand scoop is good, is uh, up. Short for number 10, uh, uh, Brecken Rogier, the junior. She's able to get a fall, but she'll be rewarded with two free throws. Foul on number two, Maddie Faust, her first. 15 foul on Venas. First one is up. It's good. Nice work by Rogier. She's got five on the night. I appreciate you guys' patience has been working through some technical difficulties here with the commercials, sound, etc. Second one is up. Rolls in and out. Rebound to number two, Faust, who just had the foul. Quickly back down is number 14, Maddie Dansby, the junior. This is a five-senior starter team, but uh, Coach uh, Hurt does not uh, – he is not shy about subs substituting. He's got a slew of sophomores and juniors that he brings in. Ball goes out of bounds. OCS ball, 7.34. Tell you what, when you have 83 points in, the th in three quarters, you got a lot of folks scoring, and that's been the case for, for Venas. It's been uh, definitely a shared task. Nice baseline drive by number three, a little kick out, and nice back bucket by, uh, by, uh, by Rogier. She's got seven. Whoop, little carry there. That last assist goes to Skyler Lawrence for OCS. They've got the ball here. Hannah Vosco will get it back out to Barnett. The freshman has uh, been the leading scorer for the Saints. Loose ball. Nice scoop. It's all right there. Number 14 is able to scoop it up. Maddie Dansby, she'll curl right side. And Venas will reset the Wolves. A little inside outside roll there off that wing. Deep three by Dansby. It's up, in and out. Rebound to Saints, quickly down the right side is number 10, Rogier. She'll go, kick it back out. Nice work there, nice ball fake. And skip past there, Rowlett, no walk call, but she'll get a little Euro up and good. No, she gets her own offensive rebound. Right hand goes up and she'll get fouled. Nice individual effort there by Brianna Rowlett, the sophomore, number 34. I like that baseline drive, goes up, misses her shot, gets her own rebound and gets the foul. That's the first foul on number 11. First one is missed, number 11, Avery Ellis. I'm guessing the sister of Emery, of, of Emery Ellis. Second one is missed, rebound goes to Maddie Dansby. 
Deep three is good. Alexis Belcher, she's got two made threes on the night. If I can count them right, that's seven, eight, nine, nine three-pointers for the, for the Wolves. It's tough to win when other teams are making nine threes. A little foul there by Skylar Lawrence, the junior for the Saints. That's her first. Saints staying. It's like, uh, it looked like what was going to be a 3 2, but uh, they've dumped out of that. Barnett quickly down the freshman. Little right hand. Look, like, look good getting down to the three point line. Got that ball a little high, a little bit of a tip out of bounds, and that will be to Venas. The Wolves quickly back down. 547 here in the fourth quarter. 86 38. Nice little pass in the interior. Nice little feed there from Dansby to number two. Maddie Faust, the sophomore, found her cutting, found her on the right side, on the correct side with her hand away from the defender, was able to roll down, was going to try to get that reverse layup. Didn't fall, but she'll get the second foul on Lawrence. Second one is good for Faust. She's got three. Got some substitutions. Got a lot of folks. Coach Hurt empty in the bench, as he should, up a gajillion. He's up uh, almost 50, 49 points. Still 540. And this is where, again, when you have a, a good team that gets out to a big lead, and when you're able to get some of those younger kids, more, less inexperienced kids out there, get some playing time in the varsity, it's the same for, for football as well as it is with basketball. That's, that's how your program continues to get better and better. That's how, that's how winning basketball begets winning basketball. And that's been the case for the Wolves, 16-0, number one in Class A. Two-pointers up. Little bounce around there, number 11. Avery Ellis quickly back down. Nice job there by Ball School. Doesn't go in, she gets on a rebound, she puts it back in. Nice work there, and that's been kind of the MO for the, the Saints today. A little missed shot, get their own offensive rebound, they'll walk there and, and put it back in. We saw that with, uh, with uh, Rogier as well as with uh, Rowlett earlier. Barnett, the freshman, quick down the right side. Voskul. Skip pass to Rowlett. She'll drive right hand. A little jump stop. A little short there. Sophomore can continue to work on that. That one will fall. All the way down to number 25. Inside. Nice work there. That's number 33. Alexis Crowell, the senior, is able to get the bucket there. Dansby will have a seat. Alexis Belcher checks back in, the junior. And I, I want to say Coach Hurd, I think, has successfully <laughs> played every one of his players sophomore and up. Reckon Rogier with the drive. Nice little hesitation. Little snap and whip. Work that left side. Seventh team foul for Venas will send Rogier to the line. One and one. Fourth team or a fourth foul on number ten, Abby. Or I'm sorry, number ten, uh, Alexis Belcher. First one is missed. The Wolves with the rebound quickly down. Speaking of the Devils, Belcher should roll back out. A little tip pass there. A little screen rolls not there. Even with the subs, Coach uh, Hertz got a great job, doing a great job with the, with his bench on running the system and running the sets. D3, it's up. That's a little short. The last one, Alexis Crowell. Crowell, 5'11 forward. Oh, we got number five checking in for the Saints. Don't have a name for her. Or 15, I apologize. Kylie Major, freshman. So 
So the foul on number three, Skylar Lawrence, that is her third. That's going to send Alexis Belch to the line. She makes the first. Good. She's got 12 on the night. 91 40, 327. Thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. It's Cash and County Line Tournament, one of the best tournaments in the state in terms of you're looking for just absolute great teams, and that's what we have here, and that's what's going on. Several ranked teams here across Class B, A, Class 2A, 3A. It's a fantastic group of teams. Last year, I believe uh, there was probably close to, I think, five of the eight on the boys' side ended up going to state, and I think at least three on the girls' side were at state as well. So, again, an another great year here for <coughs> the uh, Cashin County Line Tournament, and so glad that you've joined us here. Vinas. Up big here, 51, 91 to 40, out of bounds. Got some substitutions by both teams, Coach Hurt and Coach Barnett. Uh, I'm gonna not going on a ledge here, but with 257 left, uh, this will be win number 17 for Coach Hurt and the and the Wolves. <coughs> Coach Barnett will be moving to three and seven. Shots up, get a little bit of contact there, and uh, Brecken Rogier's been kind of on fire here. The junior, last few minutes here, she's kind of turned up the energy getting after it and that's kind of been the deal uh, right from this from the get-go it was the the Wolves with a lot of pressure full court press tired down that Saints team and got out really quick in the first quarter 23 to 8 it's 51 22 to half 83 35 the third quarter and we're sitting at 91 42 made free throws there by Rozier nice work there by the junior Deep three, little run out there by number three, Lawrence. She's been active since checking back in. Little driving kick there. Nice work there by Rogier. Just a little bit uh, low there. Who is that number number eleven? Katie Eisenhower, freshman guard. Deep three, a long rebound goes to the freshman, number 15, Kylie Major. Quickly down is OCS. Rozier kicks it back out to 11, Katie Eisenhower. It's no good. Vinas quickly down all the way through. Nice pass. Riley Reed, the sophomore, had the chance to get the bucket, but she's going to be fouled on the floor. That'll be the sixth team foul on OCS. First one on Katie Eyes, or I'm sorry, on uh, Kylie Major. Baseline drive, good effort. Three's up by 25. Trinity Belcher. And that's what you get with small small schools. You're going to get brothers and sisters, and multiple sisters and multiple brothers playing together on teams. It, those things are going to happen. My man Silky Smooth coming up over here. Silky Smooth, Chad Tishner. Appreciate you guys joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. This is the third or fourth games of the girls games. Earlier winners tonight or today were uh, Varnum over Dale JV and Dale over Fairview. Both of those schools will be facing off on the winner side. It'll be Dale JV and Fairview tomorrow, Friday, 9-20. Three is up and short, or actually a little long there. We'll have a foul on the floor, and that's going to send. That's going to send number 11, Katie Eisenhower, the freshman to the line. She's hustling down. She says, Coach, I'm going to get my points. I'm going to get my points. Chad's going to help me out here, I guess, huh? You're just missing out? Do a little, yeah? yeah. I'll be all right. I'm not, I'm not doing Homer television right now. This is, this is just keeping it real, keeping it chill. Vibe is chill. Quickly down after the missed free throw. 91-42, minute 21 left here in the fourth quarter. I think the, uh, the only thing here is to see if Vinas can get to 100. 
I, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a 1-0-0 on the score. I think I have a couple times here at Cash and Wildcats to put some points up. Lee Woody. Lee Woody coming up. Drake Woody, eighth grade superstar. Drive. Nice work there by number 12. Good work there by Emily. No, that's not Emily. That's 42. I apologize. That's Kylie Gray, freshman. Kylie Major almost with a three. Rebound. 48 seconds. Quickly down are the Wolves, and let's likely see it work around a little bit here. Again, we appreciate you guys joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV, powered by Scordle. It's been a great day here at the Cash and County Line Tournament. We've got three more games to go. Lead, heading, uh, I guess finishing off with the last night doubleheader, end of the night doubleheader of the uh, Cash and Wildcats versus the Perry Maroons. Appreciate you guys joining us here. It's been a fun, fun day. Oh, nice job there on the steal. Trinity Belcher all the way left hand. Can't get it to fall. Rebounds there. Maddie Dansby is able to get it. And that will be it as your Venos Wolves go to 17-0, ranked number one in Class A with a 93-42 victory over the OCS Saints. Thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcat TV. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with our Sixth game of the night as the Clinton Tornadoes take on the Benas Wolves on the boy side of the action. I'm Nina Bobby. Thanks so much. We'll hang tight. We'll be right back in a sec. 